Some players take such extravagant steps that they get expelled from the NFL as a result of the mistakes they made. These situations are not afforded any kind of wiggle room. Hello viewer. This is Top 10 Binge and in this video, you'll be getting to know about 5 players blacklisted from the NFL. There have been a dozen though. Which ones have you heard about? Tell us in the comments. And if you enjoy this list till the end, then like, share, subscribe, and explore more from Top 10 Binge. Now, let's take a moment to reflect on these five men who broke hearts of their fans. Number 1. Tommy Kane Kane committed to play for the Seattle Seahawks in 1988. But by 1992, the wide receiver had sustained too many injuries, and he was let go. He eventually made it home, where he briefly played football before calling it a day in his career. But in 2003, Kane's life outside of the field descended into violence. His ex-wife Tamara Sheikh and a pastor's counselor from Kane's church tried to get him into a detox facility because of his substance use disorder. Sheikh was instead assaulted and stabbed by Kane. Sadly, she didn't make it through the assault. Kane admitted guilt to a lesser charge of manslaughter due to his serious depressive diagnosis. Kane received an 18-year prison term. Number 2. O.J. Simpson Simpson, a running back who played for the Buffalo Bills and San Francisco 49ers throughout his career, amassed a plethora of individual honors. But years later, scandal consumed his life. He was initially declared not guilty of the murders of Nicole Brown Simpson and Ron Goldman. However, he lost a legal case in 1997 and was forced to provide the surviving family's $33.5 million as compensation. After that, Simpson appeared in court in 2008 for his role in an armed robbery at the Palace Station in Nevada. He received a 33-year prison term. He was released in 2017. Simpson was formally released from prison in 2021. Number 3. Art Foles According to the previous rules of the game, the team that finishes first in the regular season standings was declared the NFL champion in 1925. At that point in the sport's history, there was no postseason format, but it was intriguing to note that teams might schedule extra games in order to potentially gain an advantage. To help his side win more games, Art Foles planned two extra games against weak opposition. The key component of this strategy was that he recruited four high school students to the roster by giving them other names so they could dress. The Chicago Cardinals gained further victories as a result, although Foles received a lifetime ban that was lifted a year later. Number 4. Frank Filchok and Merle Hapes In a bribery scandal in 1946, Frank Filchok and Merle Hapes were implicated and found to be responsible. They took part in a wager that guaranteed their team would have at least a 10-point advantage in the championship game. After just one season with the New York Giants in 1942, the fullback second with the team in 1946 was far more exciting. The Chicago Bears defeated the New York Giants 24-14 in that season's NFL championship game. However, Hapes was suspended from the NFL indefinitely after being suspected of accepting a bribe to toss the game. He moved to Canada in order to continue his football career, but he only played there for one season. Hapes never received an NFL reinstatement. Frank Filchok played quarterback and tailback for the New York Giants in the 1946 season. He assisted the Giants in reaching the NFL championship game despite throwing a staggering 25 interceptions in just 11 games. A bribe was allegedly accepted by Filchok in order to lose the championship game by more than 10 points. He acknowledged the occurrence of the incident but denied any involvement, claiming he turned down the idea. After receiving a lifelong suspension as punishment from the league, Filchok joined the CFL. Three years later, the NFL lifted the restriction. Filchok, in contrast to Hapes, was reinstated in 1950. But because he was 33 and the Giants were unwilling to sign him, he ended up playing his final season in Canada. Number 5. Ray Kurth In the first round of the 1997 NFL Draft, the Carolina Panthers selected Ray Kurth with the 27th overall choice. He then had a good rookie season, hauling in 44 passes for 545 yards and 4 touchdowns. Due to an injury, he only played in one game in his second season and six in his third. But then, a bizarre event took place. Kerridge was discovered to be a part of a murderous plot against his partner, Cherica Adams. Cherica Adams was shot numerous times by Van Brett Watkins Sr. in November 1999. Adams was eight months along with Kerridge's pregnancy at the time. Adams informed 911 that Kerridge was operating a vehicle in front of her. When he slowed down, a different car approached and opened fire on her. Then Kerridge sped off in his car. She tragically died as a result of her injuries, but her son was saved. But because of the oxygen deprivation, he suffered brain damage. 
Kareth was judged responsible for the incident and given a minimum 18-year prison term. In 2018, he was released. He received an indefinite league suspension and never again participated in football. These sports people made such mistakes that lead to heartbreaks, controversies, and scandals. No doubt, they paid the cost. We wonder what were they thinking while taking such actions. Anyways, what do you think about these blacklisted NFL players? Drop in comment. Like, share, and subscribe to Top 10 Binge. We'll see you next time.